Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Sal. I'm back with another tutorial, man. And today I'm going to be showing you guys, as the title reads, read, whatever, <laughs> how to uh, add skill points and increase your minutes in your my career, dog. I know this is something that, especially for 2K11, has been out for probably, like, you can look up a video from like nine years ago. But I'm just here to show you guys it still works on the remastered version as well as how to increase your minutes in the same method. So first of all, you will need Cheat Engine. So Cheat Engine, I'm going to include a link down below in the description, man. It, you only need one app. That's Cheat Engine, and then you do need 2K11. If you ain't got 2K11, go watch my How to Download 2K11 video. You know what I'm saying? But this is going to work on remastered, non-remastered, replastered, you know, uh, whatever. It's going to work on any 2K. It's going to work on any 2K11, 12, 13, 14, too. So you wanna, what you want to do is open up 2K, and you want to go to your options and go to the video settings right quick. And you want to put it on window mode. Why? Because you want to have 2K minimized so you can bounce from screen to screen, from cheat engine to 2K. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is make a new career. What you can do is load up your current career because what I'm doing this, why I'm doing this is because I just don't want to do poison ivy. I want to show you guys that really, I'm just showing you guys it works for real. Like, in case you want to start up a new career and you just want to have a separate career for 99 overall, just, so I'm just going to walk you through basically how to do it, but this works for your current career too. So basically, I'm just going to take you past this whole career. It's crazy. So first thing you want to do is go to your skill points. You see you got 10,000 skill points, right? So now you want to go ahead and open up Cheat Engine. Um, so I'm going to minimize this. Double click on Cheat Engine. Open it up. Click Yes on that. And then on the top left, is going to be a thing flashing red and, uh, red and green. You want to open that up. Locate your 2K11. That's basically opening up the game through Cheat Engine. And then uh, you want to go back and again, it's 10,000. Whatever your skill points is, you want to search that up whatever how many skill points you have search that up type it in the value option then you want to click uh, new scan all right so that that's done what you want to go ahead and do is go back to the game and apply one attribute point you want to basically change the value of the skill points so that you can do a new search so you click yes to change it now that it's 9779 you want to go back to cheat engine and search up that uh, value 9779 so that it can shrink your list and you click next scan this time. Do not click new scan, click next scan. And now you're down to two. You may be down to one, depending on how, you know, whatever your number was. But now what you want to do is double click both of them or however many you have to narrow down. You got to do, you got to type in the value to see if it changes. So I just type in a random value, nines, you know what I'm saying? And now to test it out, you go back to the game, back and then click skill points again. And voila, that was the, that is the code. That is the value. That is your value. So what you now can do is apply your skill points, bro. It's that easy, bro. I'm telling you, it's really simple, bro. This way simple. You know what I'm saying? Very simple. Um, and you can save it just to show your works. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go and apply 99 to everything. This is in my career. Yeah, that's proof that it works. Um, so what you want to do um, is go back to cheat engine. And now that you found the code, you want to go ahead and double click on no description and type in skill point or however you want to you know, save the code as uh, just to let you know it's the skill points one. And then you can delete the second one because that is not it. And there, you, there's your skill points. That is but how long did it take me three minutes in the video, bro? Did not take that long. So that is very simple. Um, and again, basically, all you're doing is narrowing down the search to find your code. So now I'm going to show you guys how to add minutes. And for that, you'll need to go to a career, which you probably already have loaded up where you are in the NBA because you can't do it on draft combine. You won't get minutes in the combine. So first thing you'll need to uh, do is uh, note how many minutes you have. So you want to go to the career. Uh, obviously, I, I haven't played a game, so I have 12 minutes on this guy. So this preferably usually only works if you're able to gain a minute after playing. If you're like way into the season, this probably isn't going to work because you don't gain minutes. But if you, you might need to start a new career up, so go to search 12 up in the search bar like you did the skill points. You want to hit 12 new scan. The 12 is going to break up a whole bunch of codes. So now what you're going to need to do is play a game. So I'm not going to sit up here and play a 10 minute game to get the code. I'm going to go it on one minute, take auto save off just because you're going to be sacrificing the game. So you want to take auto save off just so that you don't sacrifice your stats. So you're going to go into the game. I'm not going to show you guys the whole game. I'm going to speed it up. So basically what you're doing is that you want to uh, play the game. You don't want to simulate the game because you're not going to get your minutes up. So, you know, 2K gives you two minutes after every game when you're first starting off and then one minute after a certain time. Two gets like 41 minutes. So basically, if you're not at 41 minutes enough, this should work. So basically, you want to play the game, get all the way through it, come back to the main menu and you should your minutes should be plus two because basically all you're going to do is search the plus the 14 now. So you want to go back to your minutes here now that the game has been played. And you'll go and uh, yeah, check your minutes out. Now I'm at 14 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is go back to Cheat Engine, search up 14, 
and hit next scan next this time do not click new scan hit next scan and now it is down to four now it's down to six but there's four solid ones the rest of the two are blinking that you already know it's not going to be those so now what you want to do is double click all four of them to figure out which one it is you got to go through so on the first one what you want to do is double tap type in anything uh 48 and below because you can't play more than 48 minutes a game i just typed in 30 and it didn't work so it's clearly not that code so you want to go back and delete that code um but we'll just go to the second one just for time's sake type in 30 again see if it's this one go back refresh bam there you go that is your minutes code right there uh 33 minutes a game now there you go i am now a sixth man at 33 minutes a game um and yeah that that is that's it's that simple bro it's really that simple it's that easy it's that quick that is how you get both of your codes for skill points and minutes uh you can go back and now uh delete all the three other ones and relabel this one as your minutes so that you don't get confused you know what i'm saying like say you could cut all the other three all you gotta do is right click click cut it'll go away uh for the rest of the two and it's that simple y'all now you can control your minutes and your skill points now you're wondering like hey well what if it's is it just for this career is it for all your careers it's for all your careers bro all you got to do is save your list when you're done so that way and i'm just showing you guys that his skill points work because remember and then the minutes work because yeah now you can play 48 minutes of game and injure your legs and injure your body and be tired and get the gatorade symbol if you want and you can mod your skill points in game one if you want to as well. Maybe you just want to give yourself a little boost. That's what I did for my Poison Ivy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you're wondering like, hey, does this going to work if I like don't choose this career type situation? It's going to work. Basically, just to prove it, I'm loading back the career again. Um, I have a ton of careers. Just to show you guys. Um, basically, I took autosave off. Remember, autosave was off. So now you're like, oh, bro, I don't have my minutes anymore and I don't have my skill points. You save the codes. All you got to do now you're starting from you're starting from scratch you didn't play that game and now you're getting your skill points and your minutes up and you could go back and check your minutes now you're averaging 40 now you're getting 45 minutes of your first game so there you have it bro there you have it the, the codes transfer to any player you load up the game load up the codes you can start a new career up when you get to the nba you just give yourself uh 40 minutes a game 30 minutes a game if you want to or you can lock yourself into a certain amount of minutes per. you can literally be a six man your whole career if you want to so you save those codes like I just did, exit out the game. That's it, folks. There you go. That was a little quick tutorial. Some of you guys may have already known it. I'm just bringing it to the attention, you know, just to just to, you know, keep sharing what I know, bro. Um, next video, I will try to show you guys how to do like jerseys and whatnot. But I'm just going to tell you guys up front the extraction the seven part download had everything in it honestly bro like i didn't need to extract any jerseys or courts like that bro it basically had all of that in it not unless you want to go back to any older jersey or something like that that's what i'll be doing the video for in case you just want to know where to, to where to get stuff and how to download it but for the most part that that download had everything i didn't need to add anything extra but in the meantime it's your boy sal stay tuned for game six it gets crazy and i'm out peace